ladies and gentlemen, we're at the CP3P and things are getting nemesis. Only we're not actually going to be looking at that toy. He's just holding on a couple of things. This is going to be a three shot of three different companies, three different things. Uh, and these are going to be a little bit more about the molds and the colors, but let's just get started with some render form. Uh, this is a limited run prize version of the uh, guns that Vangsta made to go with this year's Megaplex. This is basically a two-piece uh, assembly that resemble the actual tiny two-piece gun that came with the Megaplex Cyberjet. This uh, translucent purple version is a prize. These are actually coming in gray, uh, as, as I believe the most common version you can buy to go with this year's uh, convention exclusive. But uh, at least you can see like how these things work, what they look like. I think it looks pretty cool. The set is 35 right now of this, this, and a Megaplex head with a couple faces, all done in Megaplex colors. And it just slides on like that. It's pretty neat. This next thing is from Artec. And this is, uh, again, like a limited run version. I think there's 25 of these if I recall my numbers correctly. Uh, there's a black version of this, which is far more, uh, not common, far more available uh, in a much higher production run. This is, uh, well, the black version is called the Hero Rifle. This is unofficially called the Nero Rifle, and this is just the, uh, the Artec Hero Rifle done in translucent purple. This is a very, like, it looks like a G1 Prime gun. It's big and beefy. It's a solid chunk of, uh, I believe plastic. And it, it fits happily in the hand of this War for Cybertron Evil Optimus Prime. So, this guy's armed with a couple of Dark Energon cannons. He's going to dacka your face off. Last thing we're going to look at is this... Oh, what are they called? Um, Dream Productions? Dream... I think Dream Productions or something like that. They're the guys doing the bulkhead upgrade kit. And this is... Uh, it's for first edition bulkhead from Transformers Prime. Uh, it, it turns into the Forge of Soulless Prime, basically. Uh, but it, it's actually made of a couple of pieces, and uh, let's see what if I, if I can get one of these off here. Uh, so these are actually things that can clip onto first edition Bulkhead's hands and form into like his blasters. Uh, there's just a bunch of moving parts on here. I believe these tab together. Uh, so I think that okay, yeah, these are all jointed. So these can joint out, I think, to help you you know plug them together, and then you can clip them together like this. Uh, these things all tab together in like this and this. So, the version of this that's easily for sale, I believe, is in, it's pretty much in first edition bulkhead colors. I think this thing looks like it's color matched for the Japanese first edition bulkhead, who had a, a darker metallic green. And, uh, looking at the other side of this, I think these actually are meant to be pegged together for some other mode. For Forge of Solus Prime mode, you just kind of smack this all on here, and now you got yourself a hammer. Um, so there's also, like, a little, a little engine block thing in here that holds this together. This is a... A stick. Uh, the way this thing all comes together, there's, a, there's like a replacement bumper piece as well, so all this turns into a set of like big turbo boosters for bulkhead. But you can also, you know, crunch stuff. It feels solid. I'm told this is pretty much a production quality version, uh, and, and it seems like a cool accessory. I, I want to get my hands on the uh, the real version, or not real, but the, the first edition American bulkhead version that I think is available now. I want to get my hands on that sometime. But uh, it's cool to feel this in hand. Uh, it's not it's not too flimsy, and uh, this version's kind of shiny. Anyway, that's that's a little quick three shot of some more CP3P, some more product uh, preview ish deals, and uh, I think that we still have a little bit more we can look at uh, before I run out of things to check out here. So let's continue on, ladies and gentlemen. Hold those hats in your hands before they go back on your head. Crunch.